to my vegan kitchen. So a lot of you guys have been asking me about my patio garden. And I was about to go out and water some of the plants. And I just thought maybe you guys want to see what I have in my garden. So come with me now. I'm going to do it now. here on my little tiny patio garden let me put this water down and you see all my dogs came out to they love to come out when I'm about to um, water these plants so this is Chloe and this is Marley and Marley needs a haircut so don't really look at him anyway this is my little patio um, I live in a condo so I don't have much space and I really missed when I lived in a house because I had all this backyard and I did used to grow a lot of my vegetables and since I moved into this little condo I've been missing growing my own vegetables but I decided this year I was gonna do it so this is what I have let's go over to the furthest end and let me show you what right, I guys so in this corner I have tomatoes and if you could see I have two types I have cherry tomatoes and I have plum tomatoes and look at this the plum tomatoes have started and you can see the cherry tomatoes they have started too and here are some of the blossoms and all of these blossoms are going to turn into tomatoes I can't wait for this to happen so let me show you this big boy right here so this has a lot this has a lot going on and as I speak of big boy my um my other dog which is it was not really my dog this is my daughter's dog I babysit him so he stays here this is chopper so this big boy all right chopper you can go go over on this side let me show them about these plants so this is cute this is cute um I got this planter at Home Depot and see patches which is really really cool so this is how it comes it comes with all these pieces and you basically just fill them and place them on top of each other they have all these little um, parts right here and that's where you're gonna put all your, your your plants so on top I have kale curly kale and then I also put it on a movable base so I can move this around my patio to make it easy for me to water so I'm able to turn it around or move it out of the way or move it into the Sun a little bit more but like I said I have some kale I have some basil uh, these are bell peppers so I have some green bell peppers I have some banana peppers down here um, some cilantro and we're gonna spin this around so you can see on the other side I have some look at this I have some strawberries and the strawberry have blossom so it looks like some strawberries are coming in right here again I have some more peppers because I just love peppers so I'm gonna have a ton of it and as I spin it around some more peppers I have red peppers and green peppers I have some thyme right here and look how lush this thyme is growing it smells so good and I have some dill and dill you'll see in my videos because I've used that for the crab cakes and I have some chives right here so this is a big boy right here and this is doing a whole lot this is amazing because I planted this literally maybe eight weeks so two months ago and they were little and tiny and I just bought one of each plant and I'm gonna encourage you guys when you go to get your plants just get one I know you get um, over anxious and you want to buy like you know two and three but one plant produces a whole lot of vegetables so one plant is plenty plenty so I'm gonna scoop this out of the way and we're gonna move over here so I can show you my lettuces All right, let's look at the lettuce this right here I just I absolutely love so I did romaine lettuce and I bought like the tray and the tray had like four um, little plants and I planted them in here and look these are tremendous I wish I really did a video of when I started the garden because they were it was nothing it was like tiny plants and in just eight weeks to see that it grew this much I have some more curly kale because guys you know I love kale so I have lettuce and kale and this is just a planter that I had that I use I just use what I had existed so that's pretty much it for my little outdoor garden um, like I said this was um, really easy to do it grows really quickly the planter I got at um, 
actually I didn't get it at Home Depot. The plant that I got on Amazon, and I'll link that below, and it was probably about $40. The plants all together cost me maybe about $80 to buy all of these. And you, you see how many tomatoes are gonna come out there. So far it has saved me money because I haven't, I haven't had a need to buy lettuce or dill or basil or anything like that. And guys, you know how those spices go, those herbs go, sorry, how those herbs go. When you need it, you need it, but then you don't need it and it just kind of spoils and sits in the fridge and you end up throwing it out. This way, when I need it, I come out, I cut what I need, and then I make my recipe and it's perfect. So that's my little garden. I'm gonna go inside and make a quick sandwich with some of this lettuce, all right? So let me go get my scissors and finish watering this garden for you guys. with the lettuce that I just got from the garden. So I toasted up some sourdough bread and I'm just gonna put some vegan mayo, emphasis on vegan, because so many of you will you know, leave me messages asking why are you not using vegan products? Always remember guys, I'm always using vegan products, especially that I have a title, My Vegan Kitchen. All right, so we're putting some vegan mayonnaise on my bread. And I got this um, red roasted pepper from um, Trader Joe's. It's so darn good. And I'm not trying to promote them at all, but this really surprised me. So it's red pepper, and I can't wait from, for the red pepper from my garden to uh, really ripen so I can use it and do the same thing and roast it. But it's a whole red pepper, guys. So we're gonna place that right on there. I have my lettuce from the garden. I'm gonna place that right there. Take out some of that spine so it's not too hard. I'm gonna do three leaves. And then I'm gonna add some cucumbers. You know what, let's flip this over so the cucumbers can sit a little bit better. So let's add some cucumbers. And then I always like to season my vegetables, guys. Season your vegetables. So let me just place some salt and pepper. It makes such a difference when you season your salads, when you season your vegetables. It just really brings out the flavor. All right. All right, let's close that up. Push that down. Let me cut it in half. And there you go, a nice fresh sandwich. Look how pretty that is from the garden. Oh my gosh, I should have probably planted cucumbers too. That would have been an idea. But I don't think I have enough space. But let me taste this, let me just taste this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's so good. That's a quick and easy way to get your vegetables in. Thanks guys for spending this little bit of time with me in my garden. And for those of you who ask, there you go. That's my little garden. I don't know what more to tell you about it. It's not fancy. I use basic potting soil from the, the garden center, like Home Depot, Pikes, whatever, wherever you guys go. And I just try to water it every day because it is on the patio, so it gets a lot of wind and a lot of sun. So I just make sure to water my plants every day. I don't put any special kind of fertilizer or anything like that in it. And it looks like it's gonna be a really good garden. So keep following me so you can see the results and when I really start using the fruits of my labor. Bye guys.